Hi kids, excuse the hair. Currently trying to do a uni essay, but I can't focus, so I thought I'd vlog it because um, I always think that vlogging makes me more likely to finish. So I have this essay to do, it's a business plan, and I'm doing a business plan, we could do any business. And I'm doing a business plan for a puppy cafe because at the time when I chose it, I was going to loads of puppy cafes and it was the time of my life. But I've not been to a puppy cafe now in months. So I've lost that motivation, so I'm no longer interested, but we're here with the essay. So I have 3,000 words due on Friday and today's Monday. I have some words down already, but I'm not sure how many. And then I wrote a bit of it before Christmas. I was planning to finish it before Christmas. And then in class, he showed us an example and I was like, Mine is nothing like that. So then I felt very, like everything I'd done was a mess. So um, I haven't touched it in over a month. So now I'm actually gonna try and do it. Um, and I've got three essays due this Christmas. Loads of beauties do when your essays are due or exam season after Christmas. Like my friend has a month with no classes whilst everything's due. But how Durham do it was we used to do the full year, all the same modules for one year. And then we'd have summat summative season in February. So that was like when all our essays were due, we would submit all our essays in February, most of them. And then exams would be after Easter. But now they've changed it. So we do three modules in first term and three modules in second term. So these are the essays that I have due from first term. But I've already started my second term classes. But I think the way my friends uni does it is better because they do their first term of modules. Then they have exams after Christmas and no classes until exams and assignments are handed in. And then they start end of January. They start their term two modules. So you've not got things overlapping, but ours are overlapping. So that's great. But I have this essay to write. Um, I've done my market analysis thing. I've done my marketing strategy and value proposition. So I still have to do resources, strategy, operations, risk and finance. I basically did everything that was fun before Christmas and now I've left everything hard. So the one I'm doing now, I've lost, oh, the operations plan. I still have hair by the way, it's in a barn that I put in like 20 hours ago. I'm going back to Durham tomorrow, by the way. So this one, I have to write about my own background qualifications. This this is a good module. I recommend New Venture Creation because it's, if you're creative or more like, like I love writing about something I'm interested in um, and not having to think too academically. If you're like that, this is a really good module to take. I don't know. My attendance is terrible, so lots of this I have no idea what's going on. This paragraph, apparently I have to write about my own background qualifications, experience and skills. And then I have to just pick a team of employees and write about them. So that's fun, because I can like put in friends and be like, they're good at this. That seems like a fun thing to do. So that's what I'm going to do. Sorry if this vlog is a bit of a mess. I'm a mess. Anyway, I'm procrastinating too much. I'm going to write this paragraph now. I'm just... I wanted to get all my essays done before Christmas and I didn't. Mistakes happen. But what I've been doing now is just setting myself a task of just doing a small paragraph, just like this. I'm just going to write about my background, qualifications, experience and skills. Just a small paragraph. And then you either do that small paragraph and that's it. You've not got any more energy to do any more work in that time. Or that small paragraph leads you on to a bigger paragraph. It's all about dipping your toe in and seeing if you're in the mood to work or not. There's no point in working if you're not at your most productive. That's always my motto. Um, still get the task done, eventually. But I always think if you're not in the right mindset, you're going to write something terrible. If you're in the right mindset, you may as well wait till you're in the right mindset. Or in my case, wait until it's too close to the deadline that you get far too stressed and then you just have to do it then. My passion is back, loving the puppy cafe again. Um, I've just finished my operations plan, so I'm now going to watch a bit of YouTube and have my lunch as like a reward. 
Um, I'm feeling a bit sick, actually. Don't know about that. I don't know how many words I've written yet because I'm writing it on one note and I'm doing it all in different sections. So if you see, I've got like my opportunity section, my operations plan, risk management, all of that. It's I'm doing it all separately and then I'll just put it all together, put some tables in, like make it look appealing. But I'm just writing it all on one note first. I find this, I've never done this before, um, before this year. I did it for my assignment last week, but I find it helpful because it's, You've got it in small, small chunks, and then I just copy and paste the requirement or any notes we've been given from class that fit to that section, and then I'll just write that section. And I'm not like overwhelmed with it, like 3,000 words. It's this might be 4,000 words, I don't know how long this is meant to be. And it's just a section at a time, which is nice. I used to always do my essays just one night, just do it all in a couple of hours, but this year I'm taking it slower just to bit by bit which I, I I've not had any results but mentally I feel like it's better for me I don't know just currently writing the risk analysis fun times okay I'm done for the day with work um so I'm gonna read this book um my friend Susie shout out um she gave me a really good book recommendation the other year and it was incredible so this should be good she's given me another one she's lent it to me so i've not actually started reading it yet i'm gonna start it now and it's called the invisible life of Addie larue and i'm lo really looking forward to it because genuinely the last book she recommended was mm, probably my fave book so i'm gonna read this now get started in case you can't tell i'm now back in durham so it's wednesday night the essay is due friday lunch time so i need to do work this evening a flat got painted whilst we were away and the painter weed all over my toilet which was fab so last night i was just cleaning all of that up anyway yeah i'm gonna make tea oh he got paint all over the table this painter was a really dodgy job and then when we complained the landlord was like the painter says he's sorry okay but you weed all over my seat i don't go take a dump in someone's house in the like it's, it's more than just a sorry moment. I would hibernate for decades if I'd been caught doing that. Because it wasn't normal wee and it was everywhere. It was thick. It took scrubbing to get it off. So I wouldn't just say, oops, sorry. I'd run for the hills. I needed to eat before I was gonna do any work because I had a really early lunch. But I, oh, this table is moving. Um, But I don't have any food. So I've not, I got to the apartment last night and I've not left. Should I go to the shop? But I'm in a summer outfit. Basically today, it was really sunny. So I thought I'll put shorts on. This is the outfit I'm wearing. is like my go-to summer outfit. They're really nice shorts. They've got little beads on the side, but um, I thought I'll put them shorts on. It looks sunny. I'm not going outside. It'll feel like summer. And it did. All all the time it was daylight, it felt like summer. But now it's five o'clock and it looks like this. So it, it doesn't quite feel the same anymore. I also can't go shopping. Um, in case you haven't realized by this vlog, I procrastinate a lot. This whole vlog is procrastination. But um, yeah, I need to do my essay, but I really want pineapple. Literally, the last time I was in Durham, I was craving pineapple. Didn't crave pineapple the whole of Christmas. Come back. Day one, and I just need pineapple. I think I'm gonna have to go to the shop, get some fruits and veg, um, fresh stuff that I can eat for my tea, and then do work once I'm feeling refreshed from the fresh food. Reese said I edit too much of my vlogs. I edit out every um, and I edit out a lot of unnecessary talking. Um, there's an um and he says i need to edit less because it jumps so much i asked i asked for this criticism um i need to edit less because it jumps so much so this vlog is probably less edited there's more talking but i don't want to bore people let me know if you prefer the longer unedited talking or if you like the i just don't want to bore people um but i'm not sure Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> it is time for a haul. So I got spinach, pineapple, lettuce, broccoli. Don't know how long this will last because it was reduced, but hopefully, I just want to pay like two quid for broccoli. Eggs, pepper, cherry tomato, grapes, 
carrots, apple, cucumber. Um, one time a girl congratulated me for eating a salad. I was like, oh. and when that girl said that, I was like, eating salad every day. And I was like, oh. the shade. It wasn't shade. She obviously thought I ate unhealthy 24 seven, but meal wise, I quite like a healthy meal. I'm not, I'm not bad. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love chicken nuggets. When I'm by myself, cooking for myself, chances are I'm gonna pick fresher things because, not because I'm a health guru, A, because I loved that food growing up, like cucumber was always the be all and end all my favorite food. Um, but also when you're gluten free, things like bread, bread is just not very nice and sometimes breaded fish is really sickly and yeah, when you're gluten free, the like nice foods, foods that I used to love, they just don't hit anymore. They, they just don't. And that's my finished meal, let's go eat. Back in the room, time to do some work now. Finally, oh, bright. When I do vlogs of me doing work, it's normally me doing it and getting it done. Um, and I don't normally include, well I include like me procrastinating but not like that much stress. But this essay is just, it's a, it's a business plan. And it's just suddenly got very, I just can't make out a tale of it because basically we were given, um, I'm, I'm including this A because this is what's happening and I need to vent and B because a vlog of someone doing an essay and just getting it done is simple but it's not very relatable I'll be honest. We have to do a business plan and we have two lecturers and they both gave us separate bullet points to include and I just chopped and changed between the two and now I don't know what, how to put it all together That's and I don't think I've got enough theoretical theories and I have like feel so sick at this like not sick of it like I feel physically sick because I really didn't think this next week essay is this stressful I didn't think this week's essay was going to be stressful um but I just can't get my brain to figure it out like I feel like when I get a hurdle my brain is just like ah it's impossible but I know it's not but my brain is just not clicking with what needs to be done and that's not great it's I'm <laughs> really stressed actually um but I have to keep going because when I do the oh I'm not in the mood to work today I'll work a different day that's when I have time but I can't do that anymore because I've not got time so yeah um I feel like I have everything written and it's all a mess and I don't know how to put it all together and make it I feel like my ideas are down but an academic piece of work is not I'm not thriving at all. I'm gonna take a 20 minute break because I know I said I haven't got time but I'd rather stay up later than be this stressed. So it's not working at the minute, my brain's not clicking so I'll have to come back. I'm gonna watch, I think there's a new season of Afterlife, I'll go watch that. I've come back to it and it's looking better. I've put it all into one word document now so I've got 350 words left which should do the introduction, the executive summary quite well and then I just have to do a table for my finances and then just do a few diagrams and tables and stuff to go in to show that I've because I've realized I have used theoretical frameworks I've just written them out but if I do a diagram of the frameworks themselves then that should also show I'm using that framework rather than just writing them I can see that I've used it and they can see clearly that I've used it um so yeah I'm feeling a lot more positive about it good morning today I have my first in-person class it's a 9 a.m. I've had a terrible night's sleep and now I have to do the long walk to the business school that's one of the biggest issues I've had this year is how far away I live from everything because I was always like two minutes from everything and it was super cheap and now it's super expensive but I live miles away. I'm gonna have to leave at 8.15 to get to class. It's currently 8.08 so I've got 
seven minutes to um, get ready. I'm running late, so I'll see you after class. I'm back from class. I'm all sweaty and gross. Like, look at this. This looks like I've been for a run, not walked to and from class. Like, class is so far away. I really hate this location. Class was good, and now I don't know what to do. I've just had my lunch and um, I'm going to put a load in the dishwasher because I always do the washing up and I hate it um, and I thought why not put it in the dishwasher why am I torturing myself literally not use the dishwasher this whole year I don't know why like I despise washing up and <laughs> look at the state of the kitchen it's horrific it's just stuff everywhere um, so why am I torturing myself like that so I'm going to use the dishwasher but I just went to go to the loo and um, that was a disaster too because I opened the door and I forgot that this morning um, I've actually done this too many times it's a little bit worrying but um, this morning I dropped the toilet roll in the toilet like the cardboard toilet roll in the toilet and I just looked at it and left <laughs> Like it was after I wasn't I was brushing my teeth not using the loo so it's not like it, it just fell into clean water But yeah, I just looked at it and was like Not today um, And I've done that too many times. It's a bit shameful um, But normally I would get it out because I'm a human being and but I just didn't and now it's comp like if I'd have got it out this morning half of it would have been out I would have been able to pick up a dry bit of the toilet a bit of the cardboard roll but um because i just let it sink now it's completely and i don't want to put my hand in the toilet it's not putting my hand in the toilet it's what do i do with the wet toilet roll that's my biggest issue so now i'm not sure what to do i think i'm just gonna leave it and come back later today and be like oh but yeah i'm gonna put stuff in the dishwasher now fun times Okay, I was on a roll. Now I've been stunted a bit because the NHS and the UK government lie about everything. So I know from personal experience and from other people's experiences of mental health waiting times um, and they are not what these... I need to reference something official. I can't just say... Blah, blah, blah. But um, just officially no one admits it. And it's really annoying because I... I can't reference The Guardian, I can't reference myself, I can't reference literally everyone I know who had to wait months to get any kind of help, but um, what's this? Everyone's like, people get mental health help in six weeks, do you know what they mean by that? The NHS will give you an N a mental health appointment in six weeks, that appointment tells you how long you're going to have to wait to get actual treatment. So they do this initial appointment, the consultation, and then they can say, everyone's been seen within six weeks. No, they haven't. Everyone's been told they have to wait another six months in six weeks. It's frustrating. Oh, my thing is a puppy cafe. And you're probably like, where does this fall in? But in my motivation for the business idea, I'm including um, the lack of mental health support and how dogs can help with mental health. So it's like a, um, can be used for people. It's a more accessible way of getting help. Um, that's why I'm on this rant, but I'm fuming. Okay, the essay is going well. I still have to do the finance and executive summary. So you're probably like, what are you doing? Well, the introduction is different to the executive summary. So I've done the introduction um, and the business details and no, no, I haven't finished the business details, but I've done some little infographics and that's what I'm working on at the minute. I've also been getting the word countdown because it is at the minute above so just working on that still need to I think that's gonna be I think I'm gonna be working on this till about 2 a.m but I am on a roll now and I know what I'm doing so that's good that's better than where we were at before it's almost eight o'clock now and I've basically been working flat out since five no no since three o'clock so um, I'm gonna take a break to eat my tea and watch some tv even though I'm still on a roll and I'm not ready for a break I don't want to it's been five hours, I don't want to overdo it. So, um, I've done it. I don't know, I'm, I'm just, um, because it's a business proposal, so it's more of a presentation within an essay. So I'm just doing the, fluffing it out. But I still have to do the finances. Um, I need to do that. 
but the reason you'll be like you're probably thinking why if she has to do the financing why is she doing the fluffing it out first well because it's over the word count i need to do the fluffing out to take some words out at the minute i've not got room to write about the finances so i'm fluffing it out to put more stuff into diagrams so that i have less words which is fine because i'm not putting paragraphs into the diagrams i'm putting short but sweet bullet points i just don't think i'm gonna get this essay done i feel like there's so much and it's just never ending um, I knew this was gonna happen and it's happened basically I got to a point I was so close to finishing not close but like maybe I've got an hour and a half left I have to do my references and um, my executive summary and then I lay on my bed for oh, I don't even want to check the time I just lay on TikTok for a large span of time and now should we check what time it is? <laughs> Genuinely scared. Mm -hmm. oh, I stress myself out too much. Okay, it's only five past two. But I'm still not happy. I would rather be in bed in the sleep. I want to be cosy, not up late and stressed. It's now coming up to four o'clock in the morning. I still have to do my references and my... Honestly, you wouldn't think I've been working on this all week. Like, I did half of this essay before Christmas. I only had to do half this week and I work Tuesday and Wednesday. Bear in mind, before pre-pandemic, I used to finish essays in one night. Like, I would never spend more than a night on my work. And then I did half of this before Christmas and for some reason I've been working on it for 13, 12 hours because I did take an hour break. I've been working on it for 12 hours today and it's still not done. How? How? Okay, it's 10 past 5 now. I just have the research. No, no, no. I'm going delusional. I knew it. I just have the executive summary to do and then I'm done. And I need to get it done fast because I've hit a wall now, I'm getting very tired and soon I'm going to start feeling sick and dizzy and I'm not going to be able to do any work. So, um, I mean, I'll do work if I felt like that, but it wouldn't be very good. I'm starting to feel jet lagged and that's a horrible feeling. So, um, yeah, I best. Last time I pulled an all nighter to do work, I had a three hour class at 9am. So I pulled an all-nighter, then had class 9 till 12. That was when I was on my year abroad. Um, I just remember that being awful, so not doing that. I mean, it's kind of what I've done, but you can see the little redness peeking through. I'm basically done. It's just the executive summary. It's not rolling out, you know? So I just rang Reese. At 6 a.m. It's 6 a.m. now, guys. Um, yeah, that's love that for me. <laughs> I'm literally going mad. I'm driving myself insane. <laughs> so yeah, I'm done for now. I rang Reese to say, "Can you wake up at 8 a.m. and give me some inspo for the?" Well, I've written my executive summary, but it's not flowing. So I rang him and was like, "Can you?" read it through at 8 can you wake yourself up at 8 a.m and read it through he was not happy but he's doing it hopefully and then i was like i can sleep then that gives me two hours sleep but it doesn't because i can't risk not waking up imagine i didn't wake up that would be like not die i don't expect to die tonight or today and um, because it's now 6 a.m but imagine i don't wake up to submit i can't do that so i'm gonna go watch netflix youtube whatever but i'm gonna put an alarm on just in case i do fall asleep um so yeah fun fun fun, fun times fun night one thing i've learned though i am so bad for being organized with essays this is the most this essay is the most organized i've ever been and it's 6 a.m on the day of submission and I've not slept in 22 hours. Organisation doesn't pay off. It kicks you in the backside. How's it going? 
how's it going do you want to know how it's going i'll show you how it's going it's daylight it's 8 a.m the essay is still not submitted i think i'm gonna jump off a roof i'm so stressed so so stressed also super tired i just need to sleep um but yeah that's how i'm doing that's how i'm doing i've never left it to the day of ever ever and i've never started an essay so far in advance and been so on top of it than i was with this one this is what i say though i say this is why i say i do them in one night i say if i give myself a month to do it i'll take that month if i give myself a day to do it i'll take that day so i'll lose a whole month or lose a day i don't think that nothing's gonna make sense right now but i'm stressed okay it's upload time um anyone noticed throughout this video i've just got more and more or just just in the past hour i've just got more and more red it's the stress guys it's the stress we're submitting please work please work i was chat right i i didn't want reese to read the whole thing because the poor dude's in bed but i wanted him to read the just the introduction because that was the bit that i felt needed to be good but didn't feel good to me um, and I was too tired to work out if it was any good or not. So I sent him that and it wasn't sending. And I thought, there's a problem with submission. I was trying to send it on, um, what? What? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was trying to send it on email. And it wasn't working and I thought, oh no, it's telling me in advance what's gonna happen when I try submit so hopefully that's not gonna happen okay I guess I'll just send it submitted 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 she did it everybody I'll download a digital receipt well if that wasn't stressful enough we're done we've got the receipt yay pause for pause Woo. done fab great um that's the end of this video was meant to be like a was meant to be a just an essay vlog but it turned into a back into the uni grind vlog but i hope you enjoyed it anyway i'm now gonna sleep because i've not slept in 25 hours and i've also only been to the toilet twice in 25 hours so yeah i'm not i'm i'm <laughs> i lost my way a bit there and we need to get back on track anyway i hope you enjoyed the vlog if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video